Hi everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to make this cute hat. You see this texture? It looks beautiful. I hope you like it too. For this one, I use less than 100 grams of yarn, but this one is a teen size or child size, but if you have smaller heads, uh, you can wear it too. I'm gonna give you the measurements. It's 7 inch, 19 centimeters, 20 centimeters from here, 8 inch long. It will loosen up and you wear it. And if you want to make it an adult size, you can use a category 4 yarn and a 4.5 mm hook for here, 5 mm hook for here. For this one, I use this yarn, yarn are denim washed. It's a category 2 yarn, but I think it's a thicker category 2. It's a kind of look like category 3. So if you want to make it an adult size, you can use it. Um, thick category 3 or a category 4 yarn uh, as I told you before and this yarn is cotton and acrylic blend yarn and it has this nice texture I really like this yarn I want to use it for a hair and I like the results and uh, for this one I use 4 millimeter hook 4.5 millimeter hooks together in the video you will see me starting here with the 4 millimeter hook but don't make it just use 4.5 for here okay and uh, that's all if you like this tutorial please don't forget to push the thumbs up and write me a comment and please subscribe to my channel let's start Start with a slip knot and for this stitch you will need multiples of 8. I'm gonna try 80 chains. If it's not good, I'm gonna add 8, 8, 8 as I like. And you can use the same way. Nothing uh, will change for the rest of your uh, for the rest of the pattern so I start with a multiple of 8 and make it any size you want I complete 8 chains now Insert from this first stitch and try not to switch, uh, turn this chains. Chain two, that's not a stitch. Turn your chains, we are gonna use this back bumps. Insert into this first one. I'm gonna hide this tail too. Just put it on your hook. Grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Insert into this next palm. Grab the yarn, pull through two, pull through two. Next. Pull through two, pull through two. And make Double crochets. I 
I'm gonna make totally 80 double crochets then see ya I complete 80 double crochets now I'm gonna insert from this first stitch join with the slip stitch chain 2 now we will work front post and back post double crochets we will not count this chain to as a stitch for now uh, now around this first double crochet we will make a front post double crochet yarn over insert your hook between these two chain and first double crochet and around this double crochet grab the yarn pull through two pull through two there's a front post yarn over now we're gonna make a back post double crochet insert from the back to the front and around the double crochet give it the back again grab the yarn pull through two pull through two again we will make a front post back post front post back post make a front post double crochet then a back post double crochet just complete the row uh, the last stitch is a back post double crochet insert from this first stitch join with a slip stitch chain two and we will repeat this row again make a front post a back post a front post a back post front post around front post double crochet back post around back post double crochet and we're gonna repeat this row a few more times i think six rows will be enough we'll see <laughs> um, when you finish the row with a back post join from this first stitch chain two and repeat um, see you when i finished the dream I made six row. Now we are gonna start to make our uh, stitch chain three. That's my first double crochet. Insert into the same space. Make one, two double crochets. Yarn over. Skip one, two, three stitches into this fourth stitch insert make a double crochet chain one and into this next stitch here make a one more double crochet yarn over skip one two three into the fourth we are going to make a shell one two three double crochets one chain into same place make three more double crochets don't make a chain skip one two three into the fourth make a double crochet one chain into the next make a double crochet without chaining yarn over skip one two three into the fourth make a shell one two three chain one 
three more double crochet. That's all we will repeat. Skip one, two, three, a double, chain one into the next, one more double, and skip one, two, three into the fourth, make a shell. Repeat this, see at the end. I almost complete the row. By the way, with the 4mm hook, it looks so stiff, so I don't like it. I changed the hook. I'm using 4.5mm. If it's good for you, you can just keep going with the same size hook. In the end, I made my double crochets, then skip 3 stitches, yarn over, insert into the same stitch, one, two, three double crochets. There's my last shell. Now, insert into this third chain. I'm not uh, gonna join with a slip stitch. Insert here. Grab the yarn. Yarn over, pull through. That's a single crochet and I'm gonna directly start from here, space, chain 3, put two more double crochets here, there's a half of a shell, now for here we are gonna make front post double crochets, how to make it, yarn over, insert your hook around this post, grab the yarn, one, two, it's a front, front post double crochet, then make a chain, around the next, make the same thing, don't make any chains, into this space, make a shell, one, two, three double crochets, one chain, one, two, three. And two front post double crochets separated uh, by one chain. Make a chain. A shell. Two front post double crochets. Keep repeating this for this row. At the end of the row two, we are gonna insert here and make three double crochets. And insert into this third chain. Make a single crochet. Now chain three. Count these as our first double crochet. Now make a front post double crochet around this one. And into this one chain space, put two double crochets. One chain, two double crochets. A front post double crochet. Into this one chain space, make a double, chain one, one more double. We are closing here and opening this shell. Um, it looks like an almond, I think. And we are closing this one, opening this one. Make a front post, 
double crochet two double crochets one chain two double crochets a front post double crochet one double chain one one double uh, that's this rows repeat uh, see you at that I'm at the end again for here insert and make a double crochet and without chaining insert from this third chain join with a uh, single crochet now chain two or three this does not count as a stitch okay we're just making this chains just for the uh, start now at first we are gonna make a front post double crochet then into this space put three double crochets one two three chain one and three more And around this make a front post double crochet and we will not make anything here just a chain repeat this a front post three double crochets one chain three more double crochets and a front post double make a chain keep repeating see at the end at the end of the row uh, I'm gonna insert into this first stitch here join with a single crochet chain two or three again and make a front post double crochet Put three double crochets one chain three double crochets a front post double crochet make a chain that's a repeat of this row actually. Make a front post double crochet and make a shell. Make a front post, chain one. repeat see at the end of the row I made the last front post double crochet and into this first uh, stitch insert and make a single crochet chain 3 that's my first double crochet and here put one more then make a front post double double crochet into this space Put a double, one chain and double crochet. And on this front post, make a front post. Into this one chain space, put two double crochets. One chain and two more double crochets. Make a front post. Make a double chain one, one more double crochet. That's all. We are gonna make a front post, two double crochets, one chain, two double crochets. 
a front post double crochet one double crochet one chain one double crochet complete the row at the end insert here put one two double crochets insert into this third chain join with a single crochet chain three into the space put two more double crochets and front post double crochet make a chain skip here a front post double crochet it looks like what we did here isn't it? We will always repeat this rows. Now here put one, two, three double crochets, make a chain, one, two, three. A front post one chain skip here a front post and shell make a front post one chain and a front post repeat this row. I'm at the end again. By the way, I made a mistake here. I forgot to put this front post um, double crochet. I skipped this and directly make two uh, double crochets here. Don't make my mistakes. <laughs> I just put a front post double crochet here and a kind of fix it. But I want to show you. I'll insert here, put one two three double crochets join with a single crochet chain three make two more double crochets make a front post double crochet chain one a front post double crochet one two three one chain one two three and again a front post chain one a front post now we are here in this row. That's row two. We are repeating six rows. Uh, that's the uh, almost similar with the row one. That's the row two. And then starting from here, you're gonna repeat row three, four, five, six, and Again, turn back this row uh, and repeat this a little more I'm not sure how many rows I will make but uh, I will make it a little bigger when I turn back I will give you the measurements uh, see you there I make the head longer it's 18 centimeters right now seven inch long uh, that's a thin size as i told you before so i will not make it longer uh, if you're making for this for an adult you can make 20 centimeters long and you see this row i put two here a front post two double crochet 
one chain two double crochet a front post now we are start to make some decreases chain two make the front post double crochet instead of making three here I'm gonna put two double crochets one chain and two double crochets make a front post double crochet chain one skip here a front post one two double crochets one chain two more double crochets make a front post one chain a front post just finish the row I'm at the end I made a chain here and join from this first stitch chain two now make a front post then into this space make a double chain one a double into here make a front post chain one front post double chain one double front post chain one and front post double crochet double crochet chain one double crochet and repeat this till the end and at the end again make a chain join chain two make a front post double crochet and into here make only one double crochet make a front post chain one front post make a double crochet make a front post chain one front post a double front post chain one front post keep repeating this I'm at the end again make a chain and join from this first stitch chain two just make a front post double crochet for each stitch you have that's the last row skip the chain ones don't make any chains make front post double crochets then join with a slip stitch and leave a tail cut your yarn Just grab a yarn needle close here just insert into a stitch and go out from the next You can make this from the back side of your work too.
And that's all. I put the pom pom here. You can make your own pom poms. And I think it looks beautiful. I hope you like this too. If you like, please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Sims Crochet is my Instagram and Pinterest, Facebook, Revelry and website and Etsy address too. And I think uh, somewhere else is too. <laughs> I can't remember now. That's it for today. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day. Bye.